My new board arrived. Another Fabiana Delfino because she is the only Santa Cruz rider that I can find that skates with a 14 inch wheelbase. I think this is my sweet spot size, eight and a quarter, 31 six or 32 long and 14 inch wheelbase. I think that's my sweet spot for all my spinny flippy do tricks. I've especially been having trouble doing tray flips, laser flips not as much of an issue, but tray flips have been bugging me so much on a 14 and a quarter inch wheelbase. And when you think about it, an additional quarter inch in the wheelbase is only an eighth of an inch here and here. Maybe it's all in my head, but I've been noticing it. I've tried so hard to ignore it and just be like, okay, just pretend this is a regular board. Now, I don't recommend everyone go out there and catch this board madness that I have, but I do recommend that everyone should try different sizes, different shapes, different wheelbases, etc. Especially depending on what kind of tricks that you want to be able to do. Sometimes I just wanna Now Beyond Board's just coming in sizes between 7.75 and 9.5. There are boards that exist outside those parameters and there's other things that you have to consider as well. Such as the wheelbase, how steep the nose and tail are, the concave of the deck, and whether the deck has rocker or not. Alright, trucks are off. Nope, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go buy somewhere after work and get grip tape because that is not, that is not working. Let's not do that. Heading to work. Cannot wait to skate after work. I always look forward to it. And today especially is a six hour day as opposed to an eight hour day. So my day, although it's only two hours less time at work, it really, makes it at least feel like the day just flies by. So I am beyond stoked for that. And then I'm doing some skateboarding directly after I get my grip tape, put my board together. Super excited, and then tonight go see my lady, of course. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Several hours later. That was a long six hours of work. That was so slow, but I got the grip tape. So this awesome new board, really excited. I'm gonna cut it and just show the Santa Cruz through. I think that'll look pretty cool. But let's go. One thing mini skaters don't realize is that having a steeper nose or tail is going to make it more effort to get that pop, but when you get it, your board's going to be at a higher angle and therefore more easily travel up and give you the height that you want. But if you want pop to come more easily, then sometimes a mellow nose and tail can be just what you want to get that much quicker responsiveness and your tail and nose hitting the ground much sooner. Growing up, it was pretty easy to recommend that if you want to do flip tricks, you ride something that's eight and a quarter or smaller, and if you want to ride bowls, you ride something eight and a half or bigger. But really, that's changed quite a bit, and there's quite a few bigger boards now that can perform these flip tricks just as easily as their smaller counterparts. Now, although I've mentioned all these different factors about your deck that can change the way your board feels, it's also important to keep in mind the trucks you have, the wheels, especially the durometer of the wheels, how hard or soft they are, and on what kind of ground you're riding. But honestly, beyond that, it just gets a little crazy. The important thing is to just have a board that feels good for you, something that you're comfortable with, and something that you're happy to look at. Ramen and some coffee, getting ready to go skate. 
Gotta eat good if you wanna skate good, know what I'm saying? Yeah, me neither. to Parco. There's some boys here, so it's gonna be fun. Whip that out. Let's see how tired I am. Overall, really happy with how the board is skating. Took a bit to warm up. Different pop points now that my wheelbase is a little bit shorter. Took some getting used to, but this thing feels really good. These VX decks hold their hold their own. They really maintain their shape and pop for a long time. Very pleased. I can't promise that finding a deck with a different shape, smaller wheelbase, maybe a skinnier one with a steeper nose and tail, while I can't say that that's going to unlock all the tricks you want to do, it might get you on the right track. Or you might come to realize that you went in the wrong direction, that you actually need more mellow nose and tail, and that this is really screwing you up. Either way, no matter what your conclusion is from any experimentation you do, getting closer to what your perfect setup is. I hope that this video helps you out somehow. Send this to a buddy with board madness so that you can tell him. 